On this episode of The Sound, you'll meet childhood friends and collaborators Sarah Curtin and Maureen Andari from the DC duo The Sweater Set, whose musical stylings are an eclectic mix of modern pop, acoustic folk, with a twist of ukulele rock. And you'll hear the sensational grooves and jazz rhythms of Washington born and bred tenor saxman Brian Settles. So as you can see, we'll cover many music genres in this show. Stay tuned to the sound. Hi, I'm Janine Samuels and welcome to the sound. Our first artists, the avant folk and pop ukulele clad singers, songwriters, Maureen Andari and Sarah Curtin, AKA the sweater set, are impressing audiences from DC to Ireland with their sound and a new genre they call ukulele rock. The sweater set's signature golden harmonies, clever lyrics, and pop folksy tunes layer multi-instrument arrangements of the ukulele, guitar, flute, hand percussion, accordion, glockenspiel, and the occasional kazoo mouth trumpet. Oh, and by the way, Maureen and Sarah play all of these instruments. into the performance aspect you know it's we're definitely a performance group mm -hmm. you know, we we really you know work on the expressiveness of our of our performance I describe our sound as eclectic we use a really wide variety of instruments I think we have musical ADD we're constantly trying to introduce new instruments into the mix so our, our sound is also wrapped up in the cabaret aspect of it too I think that our music is different because of all the genres that we play and the instruments that we play, multi-instrumentalists, both of us. And both and of us are songwriters. We're both songwriters. We both write and so it creates a really diverse collection of songs in our set. And most bands, there's only one writer. Yeah, you don't see that that often. And not only are we both songwriters, we're both the lead singer and the backup singer. So that's kind of unusual too. A sound guy's nightmare, but really fun for us <laughs> and our voice I think our voice is one of our most prominent instruments so we really play the voice we hope to communicate um, to the audience that we're having fun and that we also take what we're doing very seriously but and seriously enough that we can play with it try to make eye contact with the audience. We both spend a lot of time crafting our lyrics and telling the stories, um, most usually of our love lives, but um, sometimes about other topics, our relationships, you know, with each other, with, with other women, and, um, you know, we explore lots of different types of relationships um, in our songs, and our, our audience really appreciates that. Um, they really, really appreciate the lyrical content. It means less and less. We love what we're doing right now, and music is such a different playing field than it used to be, and so as far as long-term goals, if we just keep focused, we can keep playing our original music, and we've been so fortunate to be able to play original music in so many different settings. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible. I mean, we're really happy with the way things are going right now. So it's a good indicator that if we just keep going, you know, great things will continue to happen. This is my codependency anthem. I want to be needed. I want broken people falling at my feet and into my arms crashing from the bar and crying us to So 
Hi, I'm Janine Samuels and welcome back to The Sound. There has been a buzz surrounding Brian Settles for quite some time now. This talented tenor jazz saxophonist has performed with legendary artists such as Gil Scott Heron, Shirley Horn, Stanley Turrentine, and Stanley Clark. A native Washingtonian, Settles graduated from the prestigious Duke Ellington School of the Arts, where he worked with Davy Yarborough, who has been a longtime mentor to many great musicians coming out of the district. In 2011, Settles and his band, Central Union, released Secret Handshake, which marked Brian's debut as a definitive frontman. <laughs> Well, I discovered the tenor saxophone uh, as a senior in high school here at the Duke Ellington School of the Arts, where I played alto for four years in a big band. Um, but once I heard a saxophonist by the name of Dexter Gordon, I just knew that that was the instrument for me. More than the sound, it's the improvisation that attracted me to the music the freedom with which the individuals are able to express themselves in the context of a song and continue to uh, improvise and communicate with one another in real time. That's what really attracted me to this music, jazz music. Once I got into the composers and the individuals, the innovators and the inventors of the music, then it just became an obsession with history and American history more than anything else. I'm forever a student of jazz and of music in general. Um, so that's an ongoing search for that sound. But I would describe my particular sound or my tone on the saxophone as a cross between a swing era, big band era jazz sound and a sort of post bebop era tenor sound. I'm most influenced musically by Charlie Parker and Louis Armstrong. Their music just has so much depth and in my opinion all of the music that came after them is a direct reflection of their playing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jazz has changed. The meaning of jazz has changed over the years. The sound of what we call jazz is a combination of sounds. Whereas in 1920, jazz was very specific to one sound. The word jazz, controversial word today, uh, because it lends itself to being viewed as something irrelevant. I think that the future of the music lies in uh, not labeling the sounds that, that we create. Uh, historically, uh, jazz today is a classical music, almost a repertory music. And so what we'd like to do uh, as a unit, a central union, we'd like to play music that reflects all of our influences. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of The Sound and our featured DC music artists, the delightful and quirky sounds of the sweater set and tenor saxman jazz trailblazer, Brian Settles. I'm Janine Samuels, and thank you for tuning in to The Sound. This song is from our latest album, Goldmine. <laughs>
it's better, 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 better to be the breaker.